Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and today we're going to be talking about how to reinstate your CDO license. These are one of the calls that we get uh, fairly often, more often than we would like to see, and it usually sounds something like this. Hey, I had my CDO license in the past, I think I let it expire, how do I get my license again? Every time we hear that call, we know how it's going to go. It's going to go with somebody crying on the other end of the phone. Because it usually starts off with them thinking, well, if I had my CDL license, I can just go to DMV and get a whole new one, right? I don't have to go through all the nonsense again, do I? Well, that is incorrect. If you have lost your CDL license for more than, I believe, a year in most states, some states can be up to two years, then you will have to go through the whole process all over again as if you've never had the CDL license in the past. Now, this is super unfortunate for individuals who had their license maybe 15 or 10 years ago or even 20 years ago and they want to go through this whole process again. The reason being is a lot of things have changed since you guys have last taken your test. So if you go way, way back, at least in New Jersey, they had something called the articulated license. And back in the day, all you had to do is pass a written test and then say that you had experience driving a tractor trailer and they would give you a license. There was no road test, there was no nothing. And then from there it went into, okay, let's give you an actual road test plus a written test. The road test was probably a 30 minute long test all in. Back in 2015, another big change happened where the, two, uh, the 30 minute road test turned into a two and a half hour long road test, which made things even more difficult to pass. And then in this year of 2022, the government added one more part, which is called the ELDT training course, which means that you have to go through extra hoops and actually get your CDL license that way. So if you've had your license and you're watching this video because you want to get reinstated because you no longer have it, I feel bad for you, but it's time to get your butt to work. It is definitely going to be worth it to get your CDL license. You knew how valuable it was back then, and I'm sure you're probably kicking yourself for letting it expire or whatever happened. Maybe it was a situation that you were in control of. Maybe it was a situation you weren't. But that is neither here nor there. Now the goal is to get you back on the road to freedom with your CDL license, and we're here to help you out. So in order to actually get yourself a CDL license, you have to go through the same two-step process. Step number one, you have to pass all the required written tests. So if you want to go for a CDL Class 8 to drive these big bad boys, that means you're going to have to uh, pass general knowledge, air brakes, and combination vehicle. If you want to drive a CDL Class B, like a box truck or a dump truck, or even a bus, then that means you have to pass general knowledge, air brakes, and passenger endorsement. After you have the written exams done, then you have to do what's called an ELDT a ELDT training course and that's going to be an actual virtual training course that we're going to provide to you included in our cost here and we're going to walk you through the steps and the requirements in order to pass that test at 80% or better. ELDT stands for entry level driver training and anybody getting a license after February 7th of 2022 must follow those rules. Those aren't our rules, that's just the federal guidelines uh, state uh, that everyone has to follow this if you want to get yourself a CDL license. From there, we're going to start you off with your yard training. In our yard training, we have to get you ready to pass the road test. The road test itself now is two and a half hours long, like I talked about. It's not that 30 minute test that you're probably used to in the past. And this test is split into three different parts. Part number one, you're going to have to inspect both the inside and outside of the vehicle. This is the hardest part of the test itself. To give you an example of what you're going to have to say for the pre-trip inspection, you're going to say, okay, my alternator is bell driven. It's operating properly. It is not damaged and it is mounted securely. My alternator belt has no more than three quarter inch of play, no cracks or frays, loose fibers or signs of wear. If you miss one of those words, that's right, one of those words, you're not gonna get credit for that item and you can potentially fail your test. So even though you know exactly how to rebuild an engine, you, you know every single item, every single nut and bolt on the vehicle itself. If you don't memorize the script that the DMV wants you to memorize, you're not gonna pass. So we're definitely going to help you make sure that you understand that all that stuff gets into your brain. Second part of the test is all about parking. This, if you have a lot of experience driving a tractor trailer, might be a little bit easier for you. If you have no experience, this one is going to be pretty difficult. You're going to have to do things like straight line backing, something called an offset back, something called a parallel parking on tractor trailer, that's right, parallel parking, and then also potentially alley dock as well. And then if you have a lot of experience, the third part should be the easiest part for you and that's actually driving on the road. So if you had your license and you actually used it for a long time, it's going to be like brushing off the cobwebs and making sure that you get yourself rocking and rolling all over again. But long story short, if you had your CDL license at one point 
and now you no longer have it and you went to the DMV already and they're not going to give it back to you, that means you have to start from scratch and that's the process that you have to follow. If you are interested in coming to the best truck driving school in the whole country, give our team a call at 908-525-3609 or maybe we have a location near you. Check out our website at cdldrivingacademy.com. Again, cdldrivingacademy.com. Thanks. Have a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.